is amazing, a proper theater. Usually I'm like in a pizza place or a bar <laughs> or an alley. Um, <laughs> or worse. <laughs> How are you guys? <sighs> Just kidding, I don't really care. Um, into it. Um, I'm broke. Does anyone, you guys are, this is not relatable. I'm in Malibu. Holy shit. Uh, anyone else just like super poor? <laughs> no, not at all. <sighs> I'm broke and it's like, it's kind of alarming. Like I have $200 and my rent's not $200. Uh, so that's coming up. Uh, that's going to be scary. Um, the real problem with me being broke is like my friends don't know the real me, you know, like they don't know what a psycho I really am. They think, they're like, oh, Lisa's just laid back. She's, Lisa loves soup. We go out to dinner and she just gets soup. And I'm like, yeah, because soup is $5. I get soup because it's $5. I can't afford anything else. Jesus Christ, somebody buy me a fucking steak. My God. Then why do you think I'm showing up late to the dinner? Because I can't slip the check 12 ways because everyone's having cocktails and I drank out of my trunk on the way here. Like, what do you. No. <laughs> I've always like I've always been broke, so it's like fine. Like I know how to navigate, you know. <laughs> always order the soup, and whatever. I steal shit from work. Okay, it's fine. I hate my boss. Uh, it's okay that I steal things. I'm gonna steal things from here. Uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Not merchandise, just things that people don't need. Um, what's upsetting is my whole family is broke. You know, just like generation after generation, all the way back to the beginning of time. No one has two dollars. You know, like I did 23 of me, and it just printed out food stamps. And I was like, no. Uh, not what I was looking for, okay. It sucks because I can't call my parents and ask them for help. If I call them and I'm like, hey, I can't pay rent this month, they're like, well, your dad's sleeping in his car. Why don't you try that? And I'm like, okay. I'm not safe. <laughs> this is how broke we are. I had a health scare recently. Uh, surprise, I don't have health insurance. Can you imagine? I don't have health insurance. Uh, it's not something I've chosen to invest in, whatever. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Uh, it's okay. I had a health scare recently. I was home, uh, just getting ready for bed. Totally normal night. I was completely sober, getting ready for bed. Walked across my tiny studio apartment to turn off the light. It wasn't winded, and all of a sudden I just blacked out. Fell on the ground. Hit my head on the floor. Had a concussion. Cut my arm open, and I woke up. I was like, Oh fuck! Oh, what do I do? You know, and like everybody's like, Don't go to sleep. And I'm like, It's two thirty in the morning. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> you know, immediately went to sleep. Uh, <laughs> Spoiler, I lived. Um, but I called my mom the next day because I wanted to like, see if anything was up. I was like, you know, I don't know if there's like some weird family history, like people just passing out suddenly when they're sober. Uh, and I was like, hey mom, you know, like weird thing happened. I was home last night. I was like just getting ready for bed and all of a sudden I passed out and fell on the floor and got a concussion. And uh, I was totally sober. And I was like, I've never heard of that in our family before, uh, being sober. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I was like, yeah, I don't know if there's like some family history you need to tell me about or whatever. She's like, oh, Lisa, oh no, <laughs> dead ass serious, right? And I'm like, oh shit. And I like run over and I grab a paper and a pen and I'm like, what is it? What is it? Just tell me what, what is it? Who had a fucking aneurysm? You know, and I was like, oh God, Lisa, do you know what a succubus is? And I was like, what? a demon that comes into your house at night to try to fuck you. This is how poor we are that my mom's like, I can't even give you a medical explanation because we can't afford it. <laughs> a demon came into your house at night. And that's where we're at. Shit. <laughs> <You're screwed. laughs> well, I just hit a big milestone in my life. Ten years single. <laughs> I did it, you guys. <laughs> I did it. I am a fucking champion. I won every argument undefeated. I'm so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> you think I've been single for so long now that I don't even understand how people get into relationships, you know? Like, it doesn't make sense. Whenever a friend's like, I'm engaged, because that's how they say it. They're never like, I'm engaged. They're like, I'm engaged. Thank you. They should put it really on your middle finger so you can be like, I'm engaged, bitch, you're not, you know? Uh, <laughs> whenever a friend tells me that, I just like imagine that equation from Goodwill Hunting and I'm like, oh shit, okay. Uh, well, let's see, you, uh, you bought him a sweater one time, okay, I see that, and um, then you were a real bitch for eight years. <laughs> and now he wants to spend the rest of his life with you. 
what the hell is up with that? It's never like your nice friend. It's never your nice friend. It's always the one that's like the worst person you've ever met, and you're like, really? <laughs> Someone's trying to lock that down. Okay. <laughs> I have questions. <laughs> I'm on the road a lot, so I'm by myself a lot. I have dinner by myself a lot, which I don't mind. What I do mind is if I'm at a restaurant by myself and there's an extra chair at the table because that's how they set them because they don't set up tables for just one because it's too sad or whatever it was the host said to me. <laughs> Whenever I'm sitting at a table by myself and there's an extra chair, inevitably some happy couple will come over and they're like, hey, we see you're not using this chair. Do you mind if we use this chair? You're never going to use this chair, you fucking lonely bitch. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Leave that chair. That chair is like a life jacket on a plane. I know I'm never going to use it, but I want to think that it can save me, you know? <laughs> That's a trick joke about how we're not going to survive a plane crash. Why are they giving us life jackets, guys? What? <laughs> you're going to give me a life jacket, give me some snorkel gear, so I think we're going to get to a sandwich resort when we get to the bottom, you know? What the hell? <laughs> Uh, I haven't been in a relationship in 10 years, but I have had friends with benefits. That's a good time. <laughs> yeah, a real good time. I don't know if you guys are doing that. It seems like you're probably not. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> friends with benefits is when you like you start sleeping with somebody you already know and trust, uh, and then you accidentally fall in love. <laughs> and your heart rate out of your chest. What the fuck? Those are not benefits. Those are side effects, you know? That's like if you got a new job and your boss was like, hey, we're going to set you up with a company car and some health insurance. Oh, and every Friday I'm just going to punch you in the face. Like, wait, what's that last part? <laughs> Seems unnecessarily cruel. Uh, the guy that I was dating or fucking or talking to, I'm not sure what that was. You called him and asked him because it wasn't up to me, turns out. Uh, <laughs> It was one of those things where like right away I knew I was in love, like two days in I was like, oh I fucking love this dude. <laughs> Give me your seed. You know, you can't say that. Uh, it's not appropriate. <laughs> but I like didn't know where he was at with things, so I would try and like gauge, you know, like, you know, you say little things to see where they're at. And I was like, yeah, just, I just really like you, you know. Um, I just want to tear your face open and eat your insides. I just want to unzip your flesh and climb inside of you like funny pajamas. And he's like, what? And I'm like, whoa, I didn't say I love you. Don't get weird, you know? Relax. It's not that serious. <laughs> One time we were having sex and he was like, oh god, the condom broke. And I was like, oh, my dreams are coming true. Uh, what do you want to hear? I'm 35, I'll take an accident. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'll leave you guys on this. Uh, I hate racists. I know it's like a really controversial thing to say in Southern California. I hate them. <laughs> I hate racists. So my whole family, um, not my whole family, some of them are dead. So just whoever's left, I hate them. <laughs> I hate racists and I hate like the excuses people make up for racism. Like both of my grandpas were super racist and they would say the worst things about everyone. And my parents would always say the same thing that everyone else says about old people that say fucked up things. They'd be like, yeah, it's just, grandpa just, grandpa just from another time. Grandpa just from another time. And I'm like, how the fuck did grandpa get to this time? That's what I want. Did he get in a time machine to come to 2019? I don't think so. Grandpa lived through the civil rights movement. Are you fucking kidding me? He should be teaching us. That is not an excuse. I don't think that it's fair that people get to move forward in time with technology and medicine and then just not socially. Like, what? It's not a game show, dude. You don't get to pick categories. <laughs> you know? Move forward all the way or get in your bomb shelter and beat your clothes on a rock. I don't give a shit. Get away from us, you know? I feel like there should be a rule in place so that you will only have access to as much technology and medicine as you have progressed socially. That should be a rule. So then that way when somebody like my grandpa has a tumor, you could just be like, hey dude, just take this shot of whiskey and we're gonna carve it out with a rusty knife. <laughs> Do you wanna talk like an 1800s plantation owner? Be my guest. <laughs> then we're gonna give you Civil War medicine, sir. <laughs> Then when he says some wild shit like, ah, just don't get the Black Lives Matter movie, you'd be like, that's cool, man, don't worry about it, but get the fuck away from the microwave. <laughs> that is not for you, sir. That is ahead of your time. <laughs> that's it for me. I'm Lisa Curry. Thank you guys so much.